Hello everyone, this is Lee from Peach and Plum Lab, a place for creative kids to learn and grow. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a wolf. So to begin with, let's draw the body part for the wolf. So let's draw one line like this to define the back. And also curve out like this. Okay, just like a smooth curve. And then I'm going to round the corner a little bit like this. And then on this side, I'm going to round the corner a little bit as well. And then trying to connect them using the same shape. So here we go. And we can color this part. Okay, so this is going to be the top, actually the top part for the wolf. And then now I'm going to add a little shape like this as you may notice this could be the tail for the wolf okay so the general area has been defined now i'm going to use the black ink just to outline everything to make it look like a wolf so to begin with we're going to start exactly from the butt area and let's define the outline follow the shape so right here we can actually add a little curve like zigzag line like this to show the mane and then add a little triangle like this which will be the ear and then we're going to define the head and then the mouse okay and turn right around here coming down curve back again this will be the bottom part for the mouse and then make it a little smaller so you see this one is relatively bigger and make it a little smaller coming down okay this line is relatively straight but not so straight so making sure it's diagonally pointing down so where do we stop we'll stop right around like this area right around here okay making sure you can draw a straight line around here we're going to stop right around here okay this is the neck area as you may already see this is the neck area for the wolf and i'm going to add a little tiny dot just for um, for the eye and a tiny little dot for the teeth okay so and of course in the front part we cannot miss the nose the nose part for the wolf okay so now let's finish the tail and also the bottom so to begin with the tail so we are going to do exactly the same and just follow the curve of the color we have defined but I want you to draw some zigzag line but a little bigger like this curve and a small curve and another small curve coming all the way back like this okay so this will be the tail part now let's finish the bottom part for the leg and let's curve the bud and then come all the way down and when is a good stopping point as you can see yeah this part probably will be a little we can even come down a little bit more so that the leg will sit right around here so later as you can see this part needs to go come down a little more to match it so they are on the same horizon on the same line so this is what i'm going to do just keep coming down like this okay so this is the part where we usually draw all the legs right so remember always draw three legs in the front and then there's one in the back okay first of all let's finish the little foot here like this and draw a little one and then connect the back again going up and as you can see it's a little smaller and a little bigger on the top and I'm going to stop right around there and now I'm going to connect the body and making sure it's a little curved down to the bottom like this okay and then I'm going to curve back down like this and this is going to be the second leg and you can do the same curve curve back and then stop right around the same line here and then we add another short line 
like this to continue the body part and then come all the way down and we do the same by adding the little foot Okay, so the same thing for the last part, we're going to draw one more leg behind the body. This one is going to be a little closer to the back. So coming all the way down like this and then draw a little curve. So making sure you don't stick this out more than the, uh, the first leg. And then come all the way back. Okay, so here we go. Actually, this is how you can finish a wolf. Um, you're just simply using a highlighter and also the outline. So what I'm going to do is you may expect it is just to add a little shadow for the leg so that looks like they're standing on the bottom, on the ground. Okay, so this will connect this whole surface and also where he's standing right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you wanted to um, show me what you have done and what you have accomplished, I would love to see it. So make sure you go to peachandpalmlab.com, join our community for creative kids and it's a place for all the parents and kids to come together to learn, share and connect with each other. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time. Bye.